Well, more than 20 million registered California voters received a ballot in the mail. But as for how many have actually voted, it's not a lot. The ballots are out. But according to Political Data Inc., a voter information service tracking ballots and voter trends of the 22 million ballots sent to registered voters in the mail, just 2.5 million have been returned. That means statewide turnout so far is just 11%. This is low turnout. Paul Mitchell is the vice president of Political Data Inc. He says when it's all said and done Tuesday night, based on the data trends he sees now, turnout will slightly improve but stay relatively low. His expectations come election night? Probably a third of voters returning their ballots, maybe fewer than that. Um, and that's probably due to the fact that we just don't have a competitive Democratic or Republican primary at this point for president. He says trends suggest younger voters are staying home this election, while those 65 and older are voting. The electorate that's going to return a ballot is going to be close to 60 percent seniors when they're about a quarter of the registered voters. What's important is that when turnout drops in California, it doesn't drop equally for all populations. This is a real negative impact on turnout among minorities, younger people, renters, and really does skew the kind of electorate that will decide not only the U.S. Senate race, but also local contests, legislative races, congressional races, ballot measures, all across the board. And speaking of the U.S. Senate race, a new L.A. Times UC Berkeley poll shows for the first time Republican Steve Garvey leading, with Democrat Adam Schiff just behind within the margin of error in reach of first. The survey shows Democrat Katie Porter in third and Democrat Barbara Lee in fourth. What's become more and more striking as Election Day draws closer is how Porter and Lee, two progressive Democratic women, how much they are harming each other. If one or the other of them were to have stepped aside, it's almost certain that the remaining candidate would be competing for first place and be almost certain to go on to the runoff. If Garvey does make the runoff again Schiff, progressive Democrats may look back and see this as a profound lost opportunity for them. And a reminder, you can return your ballot to your local voting center or send it back in the mail. It must be postmarked no later than March 5th. Reporting in Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.